in North Sacramento. Today was graduation day at Grant Union High School. They had a moment of silence for 18-year-old Billy Scott. He was shot and killed last night, just hours before his graduation. As you can imagine, it was an emotional ceremony for students and faculty. ABC 10's Alicia Machado was there, and she spoke to the victim's sister about this tragedy. You may now move your tassel from right to left. It is my pleasure and honor to present to you these Pacers for life. On what should be a joyous occasion for Grant High School seniors, one student missing from the field of graduates. Today is indeed a celebration, but we also want to acknowledge the loss of one of our dear graduates, Billy Scott. 18-year-old Billy Scott shot and killed Wednesday around 10.30 p.m. in North Highlands, the night before his high school graduation. We're told Billy played on the football and basketball teams at Grant. As graduates and their families filled into the stadium, so too did family members of Billy. We just love and miss him dearly. We spoke with his sister, who shared with us what he meant to her. My little brother, he was such a joy to be around such a ball of fun a ball of laughter he was so amazing and um, our families are completely at a loss but um, we just want to encourage all the students here today and let them know that if he would have walked or not little bill was so excited to see his pacer family uh, achieve this next milestone a moment of silence held in billy's honor at the high school's graduation ceremony thursday night the family also accepted billy's diploma on his behalf one member wearing a cap and gown another holding a picture of him as they walked across the stage his sister's last interaction with Billy, a voice message she tells us he sent a couple hours before the shooting. He said, I hope y'all know I'm the cutest sibling y'all got. He was like, what? He's like, y'all the sprinkles, I'm the ice cream, I'm the cutest one <laughs> out of us all. So we definitely gonna let him hold that title now. <laughs> the family holding these memories in their hearts and hoping others will keep him in their memory as well. Twin Rivers Unified Superintendent Steve Martinez released a statement extending his sympathy to the family and saying, quote, losing a child is an unspeakable tragedy and our entire school community is mourning the loss alongside the student's family and friends. Absolutely heartbreaking. That was Alicia Machado reporting tonight. Additional security was in place and they screened everyone entering the stadium. Stay with ABC 10 for updates on the investigation.